There are so many themes available, how can you find the one that's just right for you? In today's video, we're going to look at eight popular VS Code themes. I'm sure that you'll fall in love with at least one of these. Stick around to the end for a special, very unique bonus theme. First, let's talk about light themes versus dark themes. Why do most developers prefer dark themes? Because everybody knows that light attracts bugs. Okay, seriously. I prefer dark themes, but I know that a lot of you like the light themes. So I've included a few light themes that I can stand behind. And if these work for me, I'm sure that they'll be great for you guys that like the light themes. Really quick, before we get into it, today's video is sponsored by Atlantic.net. Atlantic.net provides great VPS hosting and they are offering a free 1 gig virtual server with SSDs and block storage for free for a year, plus $25 in free credits to use for other services they offer if you use the link in the description below. It's super easy to use. After I signed up, I was able to provision a new server in less than 30 seconds. Their servers are hosted across seven different locations in three countries, with two additional locations coming soon. And unlike other big names in this industry, they have great, always available technical support. They also have incredible reliability and redundancy on their servers. So try Atlantic.net to develop, test, or launch your next project. Click the link in the description below and use the code STACKER to get your $25 in credit. These themes are not in any particular order, I'm just going to go alphabetically. So first we'll look at Andromeda. This one is described as a dark theme with a taste of the universe. This theme is very colorful and easy to read. It has options for italic keywords that look great with fonts like Operator Mono. I prefer the italic bordered version which you see here. The next one is Dracula. This is another dark theme with great contrast making it easy to read. But if you're looking for a light version of this one, you're never going to see it since vampires don't like the light. I know, I know, I'm full of jokes today. Next is the Eva theme. This one has a light and a dark version. It's described as a colorful and semantic coloring code theme. I prefer the dark bold and the light bold versions. Next we'll look at Night Owl. This one is really popular and has a light version and dark version. It's described as a VS Code theme for the night owls out there, fine-tuned for those of us who like to code late into the night. Color choices have taken into consideration what is accessible to people with colorblindness and in low-light circumstances. Decisions were also based on meaningful contrast for reading comprehension and for optimal razzle-dazzle. For daytime use, you can try out the light version. Noctis is up next and is described as a collection of light and dark themes with a well-balanced blend of warm and cold medium contrast colors. It's designed to be easy on the eyes, thus reducing eye strain, and it gives semantic meaning to the theme colors. There are several color variations with this one. I prefer Noctis Minimus for the dark theme and Noctis Hibernus for the light theme. Moving on, next is Nord. This one is described as an arctic north bluish clean and elegant VS Code theme, designed for a fluent and clear workflow based on the Nord color palette. You won't find a cleaner theme than this one. Next is Pale Night. This is another popular one described as an elegant and juicy material-like theme for VS Code. I prefer the Pale Night Operator version, which works great in combination with the Operator Mono font. The last one on the list is Winter is Coming by John Papa. John Papa is well known for his various VS Code extensions. This one includes dark and light versions. For the dark, I prefer the dark blue version. There is also a dark black version. And then of all of the light themes, I think this is my favorite. Now let's take a look at the bonus theme. This one is truly unique. It's called Synthwave 84. It's described as a Synthwave inspired color theme to satisfy your neon dreams. It has this cool neon glow effect on parts of the code. By default, the glow is not enabled, but even at this point, the theme already looks really cool. But to be 100% transparent, this theme is experimental, but I haven't had any problems with it. To enable the glow effect is simple. Press Control or Command Shift P, then search for Enable Neon Dreams. Select that, then restart VS Code when prompted. You'll get a message saying, your code installation appears to be corrupt. Just ignore this message. This is the experimental part of the theme. 
So if you want glowing code, check out this awesome theme. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite theme is. Thanks for watching.